My name is Shisal Mejia. I'm Vanessa Inesta. My name is Megan Teague. Our research proposal focuses on if a second language's language affects the first language. The problem is, will learning a second language have any effect on the first language? So in order to find this information, there was two studies done. In the first study, we did a test on over 50 people and they did exams on literacy and reading fluency tests in Spanish. Then we questioned them about their acquisition, the degree of exposure, the proficiency, and the preference on the second language, which would be English. These questions were important because they gave us insight on what the people spoke in their house and how they communicated at school, at work, and when they associated with other people. Our second study was based more on children who were under the age of eight, and they had just barely started learning English. They already knew Spanish from their household. Among doing this research, we found that the children learn quicker when they're speaking the Spanish because they learn object association, so they can relate one word to another. Another thing that helped them learn the language and transfer the language is speaking habits. So they learned how to read out loud, read in silence, and punctuation in one language, and then they just kind of took it over to the second language. The only disadvantage that we found in this study was the structure of a sentence. So for example, in Spanish, it's el perro rojo, and in English, it would be the red dog, which is flipped, which can confuse a lot of people. We chose this topic to determine the person's effects or the effects on a person's primary language when learning a secondary language. We will need to do multiple questionnaires over the ability to speak the second language fluently. By doing this, we can benefit students who are in bilingual programs. This can also facilitate teaching the students English because bilingual programs typically end in middle school. In this study, we looked over the Belmont Report, which basically covers three ethical principles for conducting a study. Number one, respect for persons, basically making sure the person being researched or studied is being treated fairly and as an autonomous agent. Number two, beneficence, making sure all persons are being treated in an ethical manner and not only in that, but protecting them from harm and maintaining their well-being. Along with this, the focus should not be on the research itself, but making sure the persons being studied are not in any harm and all of their benefits are maximized and all possible harm is minimized. And then finally, number three, justice. This is just to make sure that all persons in the study are not being withheld of any possible benefits and are giving what they are deserved in the study. The implications of this research could possibly suggest a plethora of new teaching techniques that could be implemented by policymakers, educators, and teachers all over the place. This is to ensure that all students are learning languages efficaciously and their criteria is up to par with the students' needs. And in conclusion, the impact of this research would be basically improving bilingual classes, not just up to middle school, but up until they graduate either high school or college, and basically just to help ensure that students stay in school and refrain from dropping out due to language barriers, not knowing the language well enough and give students a couple extra years to become more comfortable with the language and eventually graduate and get a diploma.